Hey, my name is Michael Rosso. I'm with the Film Photography Podcast, the internet radio show for people who love to shoot film, and I love to shoot film. And there are so many wonderful film cameras out there, vintage film cameras, that we probably we, we don't have enough days, time, hours, years to chat about. There's so many cameras out there. The time is now. Film is vibrant. People are going back to film. Film people that shoot digital are discovering film. And today we're going to be talking about one one of these cameras, a camera that you can acquire. It's called a rangefinder camera. And here it is. It's also known as a cult camera. Cult camera. This is a very popular camera, the Canon Canonet QL17. This is a rangefinder camera meaning that when you look through the eyepiece you see a split field, and when you focus, which is here on the side of the camera, you can actually see two images, and when your two images merge, that means you have focus. It uses 35 millimeter film, like your Ektar 100, or a classic roll of Kodak Tri-X black and white film, or this can even take Kodak Portra 800 film. The quick load feature, that pulls up, back opens up and this is known as a quick load feature you would put your 35 millimeter cartridge in here you would drag your film over to this red line place your film in and then as you close it this gate will secure your film into place and then you will close your film back put this in and then when you advance your film if this were loaded with film you would see this move. That is your indication that your film is properly loaded. It goes to f1.7 on the lens. That's an extremely fast lens. The best feature is the A auto mode. You just put it on A auto. Set your shutter speed that you want. It goes up to, up to 800 ASA. You would focus and then shoot. This was introduced in the 19... 60s, early 60s, and then a few years after this came out, Canon came out with the updated version, the Canon QL17 G3. This is the most popular. This is the one you see most often on the Bay, eBay.com. It takes an old style PX625 battery. It used to be a Mercury battery. Now there are replacements up on the web. Just Google PX625. And as you can see on screen, it takes really remarkable beautiful images remarkable beautiful images indeed so that's it that's just a quick overview of this camera if you like something like this and I love it just to kind of have with me have it in my bag most of the time you can find out more information about this camera just by googling it Canon Canonet QL17 you'll find more technical information I just wanted to introduce you to this camera you know check it out Please join me at the filmphotographypodcast.com. It's the internet radio show that I host where we talk about cameras just like this and many other cameras, all that use beautiful, wonderful film. Until next time, happy shooting.